This is the English Literature Web YouTube channel. I am Professor Elbe Gaikwad. is teaching today the topic short story characteristics. This is the lecture second and part first. At first we will see the development of the subject. It means that the first characteristic of the short story is the development of the subject means the short story writer makes there the development of the subject it means he writes that subject uh, detail or he gives some message by writing that subject the subject of the short story must be properly and effectively developed with the limits provided so the explanation is that when the short story writer takes the short story to write in his hand he writes that short story properly and effectively and he uses all the limits which are provided to him means he does not write that short story crossing the limits means he uh, uses there particularly the limits and under those limits he writes that short story. The subject of that short story must go as per the satisfaction. It means that he takes that subject or he writes that subject uh, to the satisfaction of the readers. Uh, it means that the readers should be satisfied by uh, reading that subject or the description of that subject and he must understand the dissatisfaction of the readers means if that subject is wrongly used by him then the readers are dissatisfied and that's why the writer does not take the subject by which the readers will be dissatisfied. The short story must provide us with all should be covered. Means the writer or the short story writer's duty is to cover everything in his subject. He should not leave some points or he should not write there the subject without the detail information and that's why the short story must provide us with all the points which are very nicely covered its outline should be well uh, proportioned and there should be the clarity and there should be the completion of the framework uh, framework means what? What is the total description or what is the total map of the short story? That should be properly written, that should be properly discussed by the short story writer. So here we saw the first uh, characteristic which is called the development of the subject. Now we will see the second characteristic of the short story and that is the unity of the purpose. So there is the unity of motive. Means remember in the short story there is the unity of the motive. Motive means what? Motive. Motive means what? There is the motivation. Means this short story is written always for the motivation or it is also written for the purpose or it is also written for the action and impression which is the main feature of the short story. So remember the, the second characteristic of the short story is the unity of purpose. So when there is the unity of purpose in that unity there must be the motive or motivation there should be the purpose of the writer there should be the proper action of the uh, story and there should be 
the impressive uh, description of the writer uh, because all these things are called as the unity of the purpose. There must be the unity of a only one idea means in that short story the writer should write or should concent concentrate on only one idea and this idea should be written by him with the idea's logical conclusion means he must uh, say uh, finally the conclusion of the idea means why he has described that idea there or what is his purpose behind describing that idea means he must tell the purpose of that idea that is called the conclusion and he should tell that conclusion with pure singleness of purpose singleness of purpose means it should be really purposeful means that purpose should be useful to the society and the directive method and uh, and uh, he must tell that particular uh, singleness of purpose or the unity of purpose with the directive method it means that he must direct uh, to the people or he must guide the people through his uh, writing that is the point the perfect work of the short story writer gives innovative aesthetic pleasure to the aesthetic readers. Remember, always it is said that the readers are aesthetic and that's why it is the duty of the short story writer to write his short story with the innovative aesthetic pleasure and every uh, short story writer uh, attempts to write his short story with the aesthetic pleasure and with this aesthetic pleasure the aesthetic readers read his short story. Then we will see the third characteristic of the uh, short story and that is the brevity of economy. So what is actually the brevity of economy? So the brevity of economy means the minim, minimum number of events and characters. Remember, economy is the word that is called the, I will say, the modern, uh, I will say, miserness. Miserness means what? Actually, it is not the... Uh, miserness but it is the properness of the short story writer uh, it means that the short story writers can uh, write there properly the particular uh, characters the particular description the particular events and the particular i will say the scenes means all the characters all the events uh, he writes there with the economy. Economy means what? He does not write unnecessarily. Means he, write, he writes everything with necessity, with need or with the proper, uh, I will say, moral message. And that's why it is called the economy. Economy means he writes there in the shortcut way, but in the detailed, detailed way means he does not leave anything there he takes everything detail but he makes there the shortcut method of description it means that he uses the economy of words the economy of paragraphs there but all the words he uses are proper and uh, with a great meanings the story must have a small chunk that is the piece of man's life without a subplot and unnecessary characters. So remember when the short story writer writes his short story, that short story has 
the small chunk the small chunk means what it has the small piece of man's life it means that the short story is written only about the section of man's life means it is only uh, for the description of man's problems man's cares man's happiness means everything is about man's life and that's why the short story is called the piece of man's life without a subplot means there should not be the subplots because if there are the subplots then that short story will be a bigger short story it means that it will be like a novel and nobody will read that short story that's why there should not be more subplots there may be one subplot or uh, exactly we will not say that there should be two or three subplots so uh, there should not be the more subplots and there should not be the unnecessary uh, characters if there are the unnecessary characters or uh, he has used those characters unnecessarily then that short story becomes very boring and nobody will read that short story and that's why he must be with the brevity of economy the protagonist must be more valued there so remember the protagonist means the main hero or the main heroine because the main hero uh, runs with the moralism and the main heroine also runs with the moralism and that's why the protagonist must be valued there because everything must be written there for the uh, protagonist because the story uh, should be centered around the protagonist and that's why uh, there should be the protagonist again there should be the antagonist so antagonist is the character which is called the villain character and that villain character also should be there because the villain is always at the side of the bad qualities and in life there are the bad qualities if bad qualities are there in life then good qualities are valued so if we uh, take the benefit of the good qualities then there should be the bad qualities uh, on the basis of the bad qualities we can say that these are the good qualities and that's why in the a short story there should be the antagonist means there should be the villain or there should be the certain type of character who will be or which will be against the main hero or heroine uh, because uh, if that antagonist uh, struggles or goes against the main hero or heroine then that story becomes very much uh, challenging and that's why there should be the antagonist then the language should be always positive and effective remember the writer should use there the effective language the positive language if that positive language is there positive means that language should be always towards the orientation of the characters or towards the moral message of the society and that's why uh, that uh, short story becomes really the successful short story so here in the uh, today's lecture uh, it means in the lecture second uh, we saw the characteristics of the short story again with a new topic we will come in front of each other till then and i am i am very much thankful to you uh, thank you Thank you very much.